Hello, this is Wiley. I'm here at CES 2018. I'm over here at the Ubify booth. Uh, they won some great awards in 2017, so we're coming over to see what's new over here. So I'll let Andrew take it away. Hi, right, my name is Andrew. I'm here with Ubify. And today I'm going to be showing off kind of a couple of our products, and obviously we're going to be talking about them. But uh, the main one we want to talk about today is the URI that we have here. This is kind of our launch product uh, for CES this year. It's a micro racing drone, probably one of the fastest out there at the moment ready to fly out of the box, currently on pre-order actually for $289 here at CES. Uh, and that's for the drone and the radio, ready to fly out of the box. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So what kind of battery system are we talking about to get this thing moving? Uh, so these use little 1S batteries, like a lot of micros out there. Uh, these little quick swap batteries. So you just kind of plug it in and then you push the button to turn it on. Yeah, this is one of the great things about Uvify is that you actually have some really nice battery technology that's really plug and play. There's a lot out there that you kind of have to strap in yourself and it can easily get damaged, but with your systems, it always seems like everything's well thought out. Yeah, we like to make it as easy as possible for the end users so they can go out there and enjoy flying rather than having to worry about you know fixing or tinkering or programming and all that stuff. So we want the easy end user experience. Definitely. Now, when it comes to flying these type of drones, it's the video that's always important. Can you talk to us about the video system and how good of a range we can get when flying this? For sure, so this uses a standard 5.8 gigahertz frequency. So we have a screen actually on the front of the monitor there. Okay, so you don't have to buy your own or use your phone. Exactly, so you, it's full um, uh, analog system and anybody that has a pair of goggles or any other type of 5.8 receiver, you can also use that system with this down the road as well. So if you have a pair of fat shark goggles, you can also use that with it. Uh, kind of range-wise, we run at 25 milliwatt for this. Uh, so you can fly it mostly around your house, around the backyard, uh, but you're not going to be doing any long range with it anytime soon. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, uh, one of the most popular items that people are putting on their little mini quads like this is like prop cars. Are you going to be coming out with something like that? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. So you've actually seen the render here. Uh, we actually have prop cars around the outside of URI, and this is to kind of bump into walls or stuff like that and protect uh, the props as well as anything that they might run into. Awesome. Now, when we talk about, you know, analog, we're talking about really good latency, so you can really fly at really fast speeds and really get real-time video. Yeah, exactly. So this system is almost, you can't tell the latency, whereas a lot of the brushless or uh, brush drones that you might fly uh, have Wi-Fi over phone, and flying that is almost impossible to do any type of speed with because any move you do, there's so much lag, you can't actually really race it. Whereas this, almost zero latency. There you go. So, looks like a really fun product to fly to try out. What was the price point again? Uh, 289 here at CES pre-order, and then 389 afterwards. Okay, and when is it going to ship? Uh, we're looking about April for the shipment. About date. April. These are actually all engineering samples, so they're production ready. We just need to do all the quality checking and couple crashes to make sure they hold up. Make sure everything's nice and tough, right? Exactly. For all the racers out there. Oh, appreciate it. We're going to move over to the next spot and uh, talk about the next uh, pair of, I don't know, I guess your uh, OG drones, right? Uh, yeah, the one that started it all. All right, continue on to the next section. We have the original drone that started it all. And this is a great quality drone. They won best of CES with? I uh, Engadget last year. In Gadget last year. I definitely checked it out because of that award. So, Andrew, tell us a little brief overview of this product. Uh, so this is Draco. As you can see, we got a nice red one here. We got some custom paint jobs. But basically, this is one of the fastest production racing drones out there. We built it so that you can have that premium experience without having to worry about putting it together or fiddling with anything. And that's why we kind of received that best of CES last year for it. Definitely. Now, this drone has actually been out for more than a year. So how has the uh, customers experienced it? Do they really love the product? Yeah, we have lots of great feedback on it. We've been selling a bunch of them. Obviously, we we'll always want to sell more because people really need to experience this. But yeah, we've really enjoyed and our customers really enjoy this product. Yeah, I saw that you were doing a media demo of it. How did that go? Oh, great. They, they always love seeing it, especially in a space like this. Um, it's always quite loud and they love that sound. It's almost like a throaty car, you know, when you pump a throttle or something like that. That's what this guy sounds like. Now, you didn't actually just stick with the original design. You're actually coming out with a few new accessories or a few new components. Right. One of the things over here is that you're going HD with a Connect system. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so if you saw this last year at CES, we had kind of had two different versions, an analog and an HD. They were completely different in terms of the shell and the body. But what we decided to do is kind of condense it down so that really the only difference between the two is only the HD and the analog video systems. So for example, if you buy the analog, you can upgrade to the HD by just switching out that video system. 
Uh, for the HD, I'll show this over here quickly. As you can see, we've got Connex camera in the front, Connex in the back, and the VCX is internal. And basically, you've got HD streaming uh, down to your goggles rather than an analog system. So it's very easy to switch over the components with the Connex system? Exactly. You think of it kind of like a SIM card. You've got to take some plates off and then pop. It's all plugs, no soldering required, and you put it back together and you're ready to go. All right, pretty cool. And now, we did not uh, skip out on you long range guys who really like to fly out distance. He's got a little prototype here to show you. Exactly. So, one of the nice things about Draco is the modular arms. Just take the bolts out, slide the arm out, and then put a new one in. So, we have these new 7 inch arms. They're kind of designed more for the guys that like to do a bit long range or a bit more efficiency. Uh, we're also coming out with a new battery. No date on that just yet, but sneak preview for you guys. Um, and basically, if you guys like to fly, this is probably a good upgrade from base Draco. There you go. What's the MSRP on this? Uh, so for the analog version, just the drone like you see it here, $699 US dollars. If you want the HD right off the bat, it's $899. Okay. And this doesn't come with a radio controller, right? Correct. Yeah, we like we knew people that probably were into racing, already had radios, or people that were getting into racing. We could offer them a very good uh, radio. Uh, we have a lot of recommendations yes, for radio definitely. and goggles. If you upgrade to this kit, you, you're kind of expecting to have your own radio, and you know yeah. the, the preferred choice of how you want to control your multi rotor. All right, the last table here, and we got some really fun toys. We're getting a little bit outside of the normal consumer market. We're going into now some university stuff and some of the really pro-level drone racers who like to build their own kit. So, Andrew, tell us about this product. All right, so we'll start with the research here. This kind of was born from Draco. As you can see, it's even got the Draco arms. Someone that's looking for a bit more of a speedy research drone, we provide the hardware. It's got stuff like an NVIDIA GPU, 3D camera, that kind of stuff. So if you want to develop some cool vision system or self-guided robotics, this is kind of the platform we're looking to sell. Definitely. Really cool because, like, you know, schools, STEM education, that's a growing market, so it's nice to have products like this out there to really, you know, get the growth of all of our community, right? Exactly, yeah. So tell us a little bit about this custom racing drone over here. Uh, so this one is kind of a pet project of mine personally. Um, so we distilled a lot of the components out of the Draco, condensed it right down to what the bare necessities are for a pure racing drone. So we have some electronics in here that are for that. We also realized that we wanted some other components uh, like uh, racing cameras as well as GoPros for HD footage. So this is kind of like the pure racer that you might find. Full carbon chassis, everything you have to kind of do yourself. Uh, a little bit of soldering required, some plugs. Um, so it is a bit more of a DIY experience for those guys like, to get hands on. Yeah, this is a product where now you're really into the hobby or the sport and you really want to customize it to your personal preference with every component. And it looks like you have an HD system and also an analog system down there so you can do HD recording while being able to fly analog, right? Exactly, so you can fly this thing around through the low latency camera, but you record all your HD footage in 1080p, 4K, whatever camera you have, uh, GoPro in there. Now, something very unique to this particular frame is the fact that you decided to angle all of the components. Why did you choose to go with that design? Well, there's a little bit of aerodynamics behind it, also a little bit of looks, um, as well as air protecting everything. So, if you look at the front, Everything's protected in the carbon chassis, and the battery actually goes inside as well. So there's no battery hanging off the bottom. It's got the little thing in it now. Okay. But basically, the idea being that your center of gravity is right in the middle of your thrust point, as well as everything is protected internally. Oh, uh, very so nice. So when you're flying forward like this, your airflow is coming right over the body, minimal uh, forward space. So the battery, what kind of size battery can you fit down there? Uh, anything up to about a 4S 1800 milliamp. Oh, okay, um, pretty so large size. For, for exactly, for most racers, that's exactly what they need. Um, if you're into a bit more long range, uh, there will be a six inch version of this coming. There's actually uh, a mount for batteries on top, so you can mount two 1800s for about 3600 milliamps uh, 4S for the really long range guys. That's a lot of power. Hey, you know what? That sounds really awesome, actually. So is this something that you're going to start manufacturing and releasing soon, or is yep. it already out? Uh, so it's on our website at the moment. Uh, we're still working out the details. Our main release was URI for this event, uh, but this kind of was a soft launch at the same time. So there is a lot of information on uvify.com for Okay, cool. Well. MSRP? Um, frame of cost will be about 120 to 130. Again, we need to fix it, and then a ready to fly kit that you assemble yourself will be about 500, 400, 450 to 500. Again, not fixed yet. Okay, this comes with the FPV system and OHD? Uh, yeah, so it'll be the ready to fly building kit will come with everything you need except for your GoPro camera and a battery. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate the time, Andrew. No problem. Thank you.